You'll need two stalks of lemongrass that I actually had left over from a dish I made earlier in the week. You'll also need one tablespoon of ghee, about a teaspoon of sea salt using more or less to suit your taste, and about two teaspoons of granulated garlic or garlic powder. Now I've tried roasting potatoes with fresh garlic, but it has a tendency to burn and make the flavor of the potatoes too sharp. And lastly, you'll need about one potato per person depending on the size of your potatoes. First prep the ghee. Because this came from the refrigerator and depending on how warm or cold your room is, I season the ghee first with the garlic and then the sea salt and pop it in the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds to liquefy. Next trim the lemongrass by cutting off the root end and then make a slice lengthwise from the base to the more narrow end and remove the outer dry layer. Do the same for the second stalk. It's not really necessary to trim the tops as you only want to be able to grate the innermost portion of the stalk. Move on to prepping the potatoes. Pretty much the only reason I peel my potatoes is because it can make the difference between 30 minutes of eating time versus more than an hour of either one or both of my little chewers fussing over whether or not to eat the skin. So it's up to you if you peel them or simply give them a scrub and chop them up with the skin on. When you do cut them, try to make all the pieces roughly the same size so that when you do place them in the oven, they cook evenly. Place all of the potato pieces in a bowl large enough to mix everything at once. Grate over the lemongrass as best you can. You'll notice that it will become a bit stringy, similar to if you were to grate fresh ginger, but power through, as it doesn't take much to get the subtle lemon flavor that you'll end up with. Then pour over the ghee that has been mixed with the salt and garlic powder, making sure to give it a brief stir because the garlic may settle in the bottom if it's been sitting for a while. Give the bowl several tosses in order to coat the potatoes evenly. Spread the potatoes out on a cookie sheet. You can also use parchment paper or a silicone liner, but mine were already in use. Place the potatoes in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Then remove them from the oven and proceed to flip them so that they cook more evenly. Place the potatoes back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes or until some of the edges and corners of the potatoes become golden and crisp. I serve the potatoes with a mildly seasoned pork rollada and steamed broccoli, but with the subtle lemon flavor, they would go great with a sturdy fish like salmon filet or a tuna steak. I hope you give them a try.